I th well, I mean, my introduction, because, because I owned a chain of mattress stores, for goodness mm -hmm. sake. I mean, what's glamorous about that? Nothing. Um, but one of the local radio disc jockeys kind of dubbed me tongue-in-cheek the mattress queen. And I said, well, you know what, that's kind of good. I can own that. Yeah. So actually my introduction when I speak starts, she's often called the mattress queen. And since mm -hmm. most of the people already kind of know who I am, that always gets a chuckle. Right. And then it goes on to say, you know, she's known for the chain of mattress stores that she founded, you know, and they go on to explain that and my awards and things of that nature. So as the mattress queen, I mean, you gotta, yeah. you gotta have some fun with it. I mean, so I generally open by kind of walking up and going, can you imagine actually going through your life as the mattress queen? I mean, that really wasn't something nice girls wanted to be called when I was growing <laughs> up. And everybody gets a chuckle. And now, once yeah. people, if you can get people to laugh in the yeah. first 30 seconds of your presentation, yeah. where do you want to go? I'm all yours. This yeah. is not going to be boring. This yeah. is going to be fun. Yeah. Let's have some fun. Yeah. People are much more receptive. But, but I don't tell jokes. Yeah. I don't say, the duck walked into the bar. I don't even know yeah. any of these kind of jokes, you know. Yeah. Um, but I have a sense of humor about myself yeah. and about the, and, and there's always a way to tell a story that is a little more light. Mm. You can be very dull and dory like this, or you can kind of be a little more animated. And I think when you are more natural and animated, it comes across people will chuckle periodically, you know, they'll go, oh, if you say something where, you know, somebody, you know, it, it's, it's, that's what you're looking for, that connection to the audience. Mm. So, so I don't tell, I don't use humor. I would never say I'm a humorist, but I'm an entertaining speaker.